Good morning. Uh, my name is Chris Musso. I'm the head football coach at Haleyville High School. This is my wife, Jessica. Uh, we are uh, just getting over uh, having uh, fought through the virus. And so uh, we're excited to talk to you this morning. Um, we're going to mention to you uh, just some things that's happened to us personally and uh, how the Lord has just kind of worked in our lives. And so uh, one of the things that that uh, means a whole lot to me is the Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, I really had never looked at that verse and uh, I'd never uh, seen that verse and uh, until I was a first year head coach. And um, I was going through all of the, the emotions and, and everything that, that goes with being a, a first year coach. And you know, normally when you get a job, it's a rebuild. And so uh, we were in the middle of a rebuild and uh, we were trying to uh, get things going in the right direction. And uh, we had uh, lost our first game and lost our best player in the first game. He broke his leg. And, and so there's just a lot of things going on at the time. And, and I had so much going on. And uh, I come into my office and my wife had left me a note. And so I'll let her tell you about the note. Uh, it was just one of those things where you feel like the Lord's placing it on your heart to like say something or do something. And so I had just written a note of what the Lord had placed on my heart and I had put the verse Jeremiah twenty nine eleven on the note just as like an encouragement, you know, to coach. And it was certainly, you know, I read the note. I still have the note. It's framed up. It's in my office now. And at the bottom of the note, she just wrote Jeremiah 29, 11. And so it calls me to look up the verse. And so I looked up uh, the verse and it says, you know, for, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans for hope and a future, plans for you to be successful. And, you know, uh, God has no plans for any, any Christian to fail at all. He, he just does not have that. He wants everybody to succeed. And, uh, you know, that's just a great comfort to me to know that, that God is on our side. You know, if God is for us, who can be against us? And so it's just a blessing to me to know that, uh, you know, am I going to, to fail at times? I am, yes. But it's, that's not God's plan for us. His plan is for us to be successful and uh, as long as we're connected to the vine and uh, we're, we're working for Him, then things are always going to work out for us. And so uh, I was so thankful that she had, had written that. And like I said, years later, she framed it up for me and uh, it just meant a whole lot. So uh, to you wives that are, that are watching this, just know that uh, coaches uh, need the support of a wife and, and uh, I feel like she's the Proverbs 31 wife. And so she's uh, always there and she knows the ups and downs of being a coach's wife and, and uh, it's, it's so difficult. But uh, again, I'm just so thankful for her and I'm so thankful that the Lord talks to us every day. And so um, you have anything else you wanna to add to it? Okay, so we're certainly glad to uh, be able to share uh, just one of our testimonies with you this morning. But Jeremiah 29, 11, uh, the Lord has a plan for you to prosper. Thank you. Have a blessed day.